Hello there guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video on my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be taking you through the winter slash dry season of series 5 in Horizon 5, giving you all the tunes and tips that you'll need to get this week's main rewards plus all the other rewards from completing each of the individual challenges. So I'll give you tunes for each of the challenges that require some tunes and I'll also give you some tips to be able to complete the other challenges to get all the points available. So there's 51 points available in this season. Uh, so for 20 points we have the brand new Noble M600, yes it was in Horizon 4, however Noble disappeared at the start of Horizon 5, it has now reappeared. And additionally in the Car Pass, if you own the Car Pass DLC, we have the Noble M600's uh, sibling, the Noble M400, which is kind of more of a track car. This doesn't have a wing, it is a track car but it's more road based. Like, um, but the Noble M400 has a massive, massive wang on it and that, so more of a track car. We also have the Mercedes 300 SL, which is a very valuable car for 40 points. So if you've got the time, I'd recommend getting both of these cars because they will be very, very valuable for your collection if you don't have them already. Uh, and if you want to be a superstar, then you may as well go for 51 points. But for that, you'll need to complete each of the daily challenges, which pop up once, uh, once every day and last for seven days. Um, so the one that's active now will last until next Thursday at 2.30pm GMT. Although actually, uh, then it will be near to the point where the clocks go forward. Because the clocks go forward on the 27th in Britain, however they went, back, they went forward last Friday in the US I know. So let's get into this video then and we'll first of all start with the Forzathon Off-Road Revolution. Okay then, so for chapter one, Living the Dream, you need to own and drive the 1986 Hoonigan Ford RS200 Evolution. This car is 500,000 credits in the auto show, however it's also available in wheel spins if you're lucky. Uh, I had to buy it from the auto show, but yeah, like I said, you can get it from wheel spins, you can probably get it from the auction. I haven't checked how much it is in the auction, but if it's more than 500 grand, don't waste your money, just get it from the auto show instead. So once you've done this, you'll be able to move on to chapter two, the bee's knees. Recreate the group boo, gr group boo. Oh, and I've messed up already. Recreate the group B era by taking it off road to earn three stars at the Lassu Bida speed zone in your Hoonigan RS200. So I'll show you that speed zone now and you just need to get three stars. Um, so you, it's not a total of three stars, you do actually have to get three stars. So I'm going to go and find it on the map now. A little tip for you, filter, filter your map to speed zones, that'll help you find it a bit quicker as well, just like I'm about to do now. Okay, so after a bit of scavenging on my map for these speed zones, I finally managed to find the Lassu Bida speed zone, which as you can see is on the west side of the map here, just at the kind of bottom of the volcano pass here. So for three stars, you need 115 miles an hour, um, which shouldn't be very hard at all. Uh, this tune I've got on Hoonagar S200 is shared under my game tag Shiloh2017 as hashtag Forzathon, and it will help you complete this easy with the racing 7.2 litre V8 using 1356 horsepower it's on rally tires so it's going to be good on the road and on the dirt that's uh, what i had in mind there and you'll be able to crack this speed zone easy because as you can see all you need to do is pretty much drive in a straight line so as long as you compress the accelerator and keep the toggle where it is you'll pretty much have no problem in getting three stars from this and once you've done so you'll be able to move on to chapter three Okay, so chapter three then is called History of Evolution, and for this one you need to bank 100,000 skill points in the Hoonigan RS200 to, recre to recreate your own Jim Carna. Um, so for this one, as it says, all you need to do is bank 100,000 skill points. Now, it doesn't specify that you need to do this all in one go, so unless this Forzathon is bugged, you should just be able to do this in multiple stages. So. If it's the multiplier is five, that's obviously twenty thousand times by five to get it in one go. If the mul I don't know, I haven't checked this car's uh, skill mastery, but if the multiplier goes up to six or seven, the requirement's going to be less for the amount of points that times by that multiplier. If you're wanting to do this in two goals, you can do ten thousand times five, which will get you fifty thousand. Do that twice, and you'll easily have it. However, twenty thousand times five shouldn't be an issue at all. I'd probably recommend going to uh, one of the following areas on the map. So you can go any of the to go to any of the airstrips. So we've got the one at the main stage here. We've got this aerodrome or one down at the bottom here, and we also have the uh, Theo 
thick hewn one, whatever it is. You could also go up and down the motorway if you want. You could drift around the stadium. You could drift around the top of the volcano. You could go in the Baja. Wherever you find it easiest to get skill points, go there and you'll easily be able to get this completed. I can only apologise, by the way, if the video is looking a bit potato quality at the moment because watching it uh, play back on my PC as I'm recording it had a bit of a glitch there. It's alright now um, but it was glitching a bit there so if that shows up on the actual video I can only apologise. I am working on getting Ethernet into the PC so once I've done that uh, tomorrow or the day after the next video I'll do will be better quality. So that is chapter 3. Once you've got your 100,000 skill points uh, that should pop up and you'll be able to move on to the final chapter. Okay then, so to finish off this week's Force Land Weekly Challenge, it's called I Can Fly and you need to earn 6 stars at Danger Signs in your Hoonigan Iris 200. This is pretty simple, all you need to do is earn 6 stars. So pick any random danger sign off your map, if I filter the danger signs now you'll be able to see, if we go down here. So just pick any of them, I know the one at the festival here is really quick because you can just go all uh, easy, I mean, because you can just go all the way down the airstrip and yeet off the end. If you get three stars on your shows and danger sign, you don't need to do it twice. If you get two stars three times, and if you get one star every time, that's obviously six times. Either way, it's going to take you no less, uh, no more than a couple of minutes to get this completed. And doing so will earn you 164 slam points, or only 80 if you don't own the La Casa Soligera house. It'll also get you five points, whether you own that house or not, for the festival playlist. Okay then, so moving on to the fourth on daily challenges, as I said a few minutes ago, these pop up every day at 2.30pm GMT at the moment, until the clocks go back in a few weeks, um, and these last for seven days as I said, so each will last, so some of them, or all of them apart from the one that's active now, will last until the following season uh, into spring because they last for seven days. Um, so the one that's active at the moment, earn a total of one minute time remaining from trailblazers, so you know in trailblazers you start with a certain time, the time actually counts down and when you get to the end you'll have a certain amount of seconds left well all you need to do is have 60 seconds in total from trailblazers so if you just pick one trailblazer, say you get 10 seconds left at the end just do that six times and that'll be 60 seconds or one minute if you need a better explanation let me know in the comments and I can explain that to you in the Forza Don shop this week um, we have the Jaguar LWE type from 1964 seven, for 754 thousand points. I believe this to be a bit of a rip off. I know that it's 7.5 million credits in the auto show. However, if you still got um, your uh, car voucher from the premium edition, which I haven't spent yet, you could just buy it that way, or it might pop up as a reward, or you might win it in a wheel spin. I personally wouldn't bother because it's not particularly a car that you'd use dead often. So if you don't want it, just don't buy it. Uh, and for the Formula Drift uh, 599, we do actually need this for the drift zone this week, which we'll go on to in a few minutes. So if you haven't got it, 400 falls on points there. Um, I'm not sure how much it is in the auto show, but I think it's a couple of hundred thousand credits. Um, so either way, probably a better investment. And the Minecraft theme car horn is another one of the horns that's new to Series 5, so you can't get this any other way at the moment. So I'd recommend buying that for 75 falls on points. Moving away from Forzalon challenges, we now head on to the trial. Thankfully we've still had these, even though there's been a lack of championships this series because of the PR Sun takeover, we've always had a trial every week, which is very nice. It gets us 10 points every week, which is of literally half of the points you need to get the new car every week for 20 points, which is really, really good. So if you can do this, if you've got Xbox Live and you've got the Hall of Fame unlocked, it's a brilliant way to get points easily. If you don't have the Hall of Fame unlock though, if you team up with somebody you know, like say in your club or somebody that you're friends with in a convoy, if they have the Hall of Fame unlock you'll be able to do it with them. And if it doesn't mark it gold, don't worry because it will still add the points on but you just won't see it as gold until you unlock the Hall of Fame. And if you want the Hall of Fame guide, I actually made a video on that a few months ago around November or December time. So if you scroll back through the video list on my channel, you'll be able to find that. It might even even be in a special playlist if you check through the playlists. So this one then wins you the Opel Manta 400 which may not be a particularly rare car however it's a really really nice car and will get you some really nice wins in racing and just have a bit of a mess around in. Um, and for this one sticking with the rally theme we need a B-class retro rally and it's actually dirt racing so that makes it very helpful because Forza does have a tendency of picking like rally cars and making us use them on road racing or GT cars on cross country or something so B-class retro rally on dirt. 
I would just like to mention as well that any of the tunes I discuss in this video or give to you will be made by me, GameTag Shiloh 2017 in the top left of your screen, unless I specify otherwise. So unless I say it's made by someone else, it'll be made by me, so don't be asking who the tune is from, because that's the response you'll get. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so there's quite a few you can choose from here. Um, I just tuned two or three. So for starters, we've got the 1999 Mitsubishi Evo um, Evo 6. Um, so this one's a really, really cool car. It's got just shy of 300 horsepower. Um, it's quite light because I think I put weight reduction on it. It's got some nice rally lights and a rally livery. Uh, I believe that's by Stephen. So shout out to Stephen if you're watching. Um, it's also really cheap at only 28,000 in the auto show, and it's on full off-road race tyres for maximum grip. So it may may not be the fastest, but B class, you don't really get much faster than this anyway. So I recommend using that one. Uh, alternatively, you could use the Subaru Impreza 22B STI from 1998. This was in the Forzathon shop last week, if I remember right, for 400 or 450 Forzathon points, unless it was the week before. Um, so I'm not sure whether this is a festival playlist and Forzathon shop exclusive, which is why I made some other tunes. But if you do have this, I think it's been appeared two or three times now, um, then you can use it. So this one's got a bit more horsepower at 330, a lot more torque because of the flat 4 engine I've put in it. It's also around the same weight, so around 1.2 tonnes, full off-road race tyres, um, but also a really, really cool car. And finally, we have the 1992 Toyota Celica. This one was more, I think, of a speed zone or speed trap tune, so it hasn't got a rear wings. So it's not the grippiest. It's also a bit heavier. Uh, however, it's got 300 horsepower. It's uh, 25,000 in the auto show, so whichever you want to pick, all three of these cars will get you an easy win. Or you could use uh, your own uh, choice of car and tune. Now we have another awesome event lab feature, this time from Fate FE1 Bliss, uh, and this one is called Crazy Cats. So please keep your hands on the wheel, eyes forward, and foot on the gas. So this one actually sounds quite fun. I've never played it before, but it's been selected by the developers to put in the festival playlist. It's it's just somebody from the community that's made this. It's going to be really awesome, and we win ourselves an orange pin, uh, pinata head. If you remember last week and we won ourselves the green pinata head, this week we win the orange one to go with our outfit and it gets us another three points as well. So for this one you need an S1 track toy, so I'll show you the cars in a second. Um, but I, I, I think these creations are really really good and I'm glad that the developers are featuring not only uh, ones made by the developers themselves but people from the community because it kind of promotes them and usually they're really really awesome very uh, a lot lot of time taken to make them so it shows the commitment people put in and um, so really really nice to see them featured so I'll go and show you the cars I've got available for this one now so a quick side note as well, it has to be just track toys and not extreme track toys. If you try to take an extreme track toy, not only will it probably be in the wrong class, um, but it'll probably be, well, it'll definitely be the wrong car category. So make sure it's just track toys that you filter into. Um, so there's loads of these you can choose from. Track toys generally have massive wangs and a lot of horsepower and also a lot of grip. Um, so we've got the Dodge Viper ACR here. Uh, this one is made by Dobra, who you may have seen on the channel. I'll show you his gamer tag now. So if I scroll down, this is uh, Dobra here. So Andrew hashtag nine five six five. So he's the one that's made this Viper tune. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, it's not particularly OP, but it's really nice to drive, rear wheel drive, plenty of grip, plenty of power. Really, really good tune. So I recommend that one if you want to kind of have a bit of fun. Um, alternatively, you could go for one of my tunes. So I've got the Shelby GT350R here, which is quite a good S1 road car. Um, it's got exactly 1,000 newton meters of torque, nearly 800 horsepower, um, an all-wheel drive and a massive wang. So that's quite a good option. Uh, also, from a couple of weeks ago, we've got the Jaguar XKRS GT. If you got it when it was available in the festival playlist, otherwise it can't be bought from the auction. Um, we also have the brand new Noble M400 if you want to tune that up uh, and they are the only ones I've got tuned apart from the Forza Edition cars here um, but again Dobra's tune or my tune will do you very well for this event lab um, and it's not like a championship it's just a single creation. Okay so now we have the seasonal PR stunts of which there are five once again so we have one from each category, danger sign, speed traps, uh, speed zone, drift zone and trailblazer 
um, and I'll go through the awards now, then I'll show you the cars, uh, the tunes, and then I'll show you gameplay of me completing each of them. So we start off with the danger sign, which is Ranas Saltarinas. Again, this is another one of the new ones, and this one gets you a Myers Manx. Each of these get you two points as well. Um, so for this one you need an A-Class Morris, I'll show you my car in a minute, uh, and this is where it is on the map here. Then next we have the Speed Trap, Horizon Baja Speed Trap, another one of the new ones. This one just gets you a wheel spin, uh, and for this one you need a B-Class Baja Truck. This is it here. Then for the Speed Zone, Airfield Speed Zone, you, you win a black Speed Zone t-shirt. And for this one you need an S1 Noble M600. If you don't remember, this is the brand new car, so you will have to get 20 points first before you're able to do this one. So I'll be doing a couple of other bits before I show you the gameplay for this one, because obviously I haven't got the car yet. Uh, so that's this Speed Zone here. Uh, then we have the Precipice Drift Zone, this is a one that's already been on the map because there's no, due, no new Drift Zones this series. This one gets you another wheel spin and you need an S1 Formula Drift 599 which as I mentioned earlier is in the Forzathon shop. So that's this one here and I've been dis disconnected for inactivity for the third time in the past hour. It's fun that isn't it? Uh, and then finally the Trailblazer uh, Festival Descend wins you a Lambo M LM002 and you need a C-Class pickup and a 4x4. Right, so I'm now going to show you my car and tune for each of them. Um, I'll have to, obviously have to unlock the Noble first and then I'll show you the gameplay of each of them as well. Okay, so here we have the danger sign then with my funky little Morris Miner and I can only apologise for this tune being a bit funky, I'll show you why now. Never mind, it does actually do wheelies when you launch it but apparently it doesn't want to do them on the uh, on the dirt but uh, I was doing them on the festival drag strip before when I was pra practicing with the tune. Bit of a funky feature actually, I have to admit. Uh, the only thing with this one as you can see is you have to get your aim right because the developers made a danger sign that even they couldn't complete because they placed it in the most awkward place on the planet. I'm gonna try and jump that way. There we go. And land. 187 metres. There we go. So that's the uh, danger sign. Now we'll move on to the next one. Okay then, so we're at the speed trap now and we're in the uh, 1993 Toyota T100 Baja truck. Uh, this tune's unfortunately virtually stock because with the PI being literally at the top of the B class stock, um, I couldn't even fit all wheel drive so I pretty much just fitted thicker rear tyres for better grip given that it's rear wheel drive. So it's got the stock horrible sounding engine with exactly the same power as it has torque. I'm hoping that that's enough. I'm not, I'm not sure whether it's enough, I can't remember what the objective was. Never mind, it's enough. So that is the speed trap, nice and easy for the air. Moving swiftly onto the drift zone, this tune for the uh, 599 is made with kind of novice drifters and those who can't really drift very well in mind because I know drifting for people who especially don't like it or that aren't very experienced in the game can be very much a hardship so it's all wheel drive, it's got plenty of power and if you're struggling drifting just keep doing this, just keep tapping the handbrake to get it to go sideways and you should have no problem so I'm just gonna hold it round here, I play manual with a clutch so I can clutch kick like I'm doing here by holding the clutch in the same as the accelerator but uh, just keep tapping the handbrake as you're going round here if you're not that very if you're not very good at drifting. Oh lag that that was actually that wasn't lag on the video, that's lag on the game. Oh <laughs> jeez, that's hard to play with. So just keep tapping the handbrake like I'm doing here, tap the handbrake. And you should have no problem in getting this season objective. If it means that you have to get a bit of practice first, then by all means do so. Um but yeah. And it also gets you an acc accolade there as well, which is pretty cool. I didn't know about that, so thank you, Forza, for that one. Moving on to the Trailblazer, there are many pickups and 4x4s that you could use, and I've been disconnected, thank you. So I've gone with my uh, kind of meta Toyota FJ40. It's, uh, it's actually really good in a C class cross country and dirt racing, so I highly recommend checking it out. Um, right, so I don't really know why we're going here. Okay, so we're just going straight down. So uh, it's got lots of power, so it's actually the perfect choice, really. Um, ooh, hello. Um, but as you can see, uh, yeah, on the volcano it can be a bit sketchy. So we're just going to use all this power. Thankfully, uh, they've actually picked a good car restriction for a downhill 
volcano thingy-majig so we've just got to get kind of inside the edge of the festival if you get what I mean you can sign, kind of see the green flares in the distance I think we've got some I got to have something like 10 seconds left on the clock from what I can remember however I looked at the restrictions like an hour ago so I can't really remember that well um, but I think that should be good enough 16.8 seconds usually when it goes gold like that it means you've done it so I think we're all right yep there you go right so I'm just going to complete a couple more challenges now to get myself the noble then I can make a quick tune for you and do the uh, do the run on the speed zone. Okay so I've finally unlocked the Noble 600 M600 by doing a few challenges. I've popped a tune on it and this lovely design here. We're now going to attempt the airfield speed zone. So I'm just starting uh, from this side. Uh, you'll see which side in a second as I uh, accelerate. I've kept the stock engine in it just to keep it pure. It's also rear wheel drive but it's got full slick tyres, thicker tyres in the rear. And it's also got that rear wing that you can see just for extra downforce to make up for um, the fact that we haven't got much speed. So I think it was um, 150 mile an hour is three stars so I'm presuming a bit less than that for the seasonal objective. We've, we've absolutely smashed it. I reckon this car could be reasonably good in S1 class but because it's quite high in S1 class stock it would probably be better as like a full pa power build with like the V12 or a build similar to this but either way that is all the PR stunts done for this week so now we can move on to the championship. Moving on then to this week's seasonal championship after party which is a street racing championship gets you five points for the season uh, and you will also get a Ferrari F355 Berlinetta I think it's a Berlinetta anyway so for this one you need a base cost of more than or equal to two million credits and it's S2998 uh, on street racing so it's going to be a bit interesting especially with the AI and unfortunately you are going to have to spend a bit of money on this one especially if you haven't got many expensive cars so I'm going to head over to my garage now I'm going to filter to uh, value and you can kind of see a few of the cars that I've got tuned which there isn't really many to be honest but you might be able to see a few cars that you might have in your garage that you're going to be able to use so if we head over here it's two million plus so I'm actually just going to skip to here and then go back a bit so it starts with the Aston Martin here and it's anything from the right of this Aston Martin so as you can see I've got my Ferrari F40C tuned I actually used that for one of the Let's Play videos in the first few weeks of Horizon 5's release so it's not particularly OP however it's got very good handling and braking if you wanted to tune the Centenario up to S2 mine's S1 but if you wanted to tune it up to S2 that would probably be good as, be good as well um, you've got like the likes of the Zonda the Mercedes Forza edition if you have that and um, then you can use that and um, we've got another Pagani here uh, we've got the AMG 1 you've got the Sesto Elemento 4's edition which you can use as it is stock you could use the Yesco, the Bugatti uh, we've got the FXXK Evo from the Car Pass uh, and then these are like 10 million plus so it's completely up to you what you take I'll probably be taking the F40 or the AMG uh, personally but whichever cars you can afford is probably what you're going to want to take for this one and make sure you're on highly skilled difficulty or above right so it's time for this week's photo challenge hashtag stunt paradise I do actually quite enjoy these photo challenges although they may not be a challenge they're really good to get you some nice photos I usually when I do it if I'm not recording um, I'll usually take a screenshot and send it to a few of my friends and it's a really nice way to get a few pictures of some nice cars this one gets you another two points and it'll get you the time to hoon for the link reward so you need to photograph any hoonigan at the stadium stunt park so the one that's in the picture here is the hoonigan f-150 however you could use the rs200 from the forzathon that would probably be a good one to use if you don't have many hoonigans uh, you could use the Escort, well there's actually a few Escorts, you could use the Jim Canna Focus, you could use the Fiestas, whatever you want to take. And then you need to head over to the stadium, which is this massive circle here, and in there you will see the stunt pack. So I'll fast travel there now, and all you need to do in your Hoonigan is come to this location I'm going at now, go inside and you'll see this stunt pack. Um, so I'll show you that now, so if I just reverse, obviously I'm not in a Hoonigan, I'm not going to take the photo now. Um, so you come inside here you'll see the stunt park so for example you can just go up this ramp here so I could oh my god it's laggy so you could 
here, hit Fort Unwalled and then take a Fort or of your Hoonigan. However you want to do it, you'll probably be able to get some nice Fort Ors and some nice stunts in here. So that is this week's Fort Challenge, nice and easy. We also have an Eliminator Challenge this week. So if you head over to your Horizon Open and into the Eliminator section, you will find a uh, an Eliminator Session. Uh, and for this one you just need to finish 30th or better so when you go in the eliminator when it spawns you can look in your top left of your screen and it'll say x amount of drivers left all you need to do to get this challenge complete is for that number of drivers left to be below 30 so once it gets below 30 you can't just quit because that's just you saying oh I've done it now so let's just quit that's not the point the only way you can get yourself out of it if you don't want to go all the way to the end is look for pink circles on the minimap uh, challenge them or let them challenge you and just let them beat you and you'll be eliminated that's the quickest way to get yourself out if you don't want to be in or you can just wait till the end but simply for this challenge you just need to have 30 or dr uh, less drivers left and this will win you the never tell me the odds force link reward and also two points okay so finally for the winter festival playlist challenges we have the collectibles collectosaurus and for this one you need to smash 15 dinosaur pinatas so you know the pinatas are like the little weird um who, like unicorn things well if you can see in the picture there that there's a dinosaur sat inside a car and you need to smash 15 of them to get yourself an orange pinata outfit outfit i mean to go with your uh, pinata head that you win from the event lab uh, and it'll also get you three points so i've got a, a share code for you which is um again from stevio2175 so if you want to subscribe to him stevio2175 i'll show you his gamer tag here if we just go down my list here beauties of recording in, with OBS you can just scroll down your friends list here he is here so stevio2175 type that into YouTube you'll see his video I got the share code from that video and all you need to do is head over to the creative hub head over to horizon super 7 so not the event lab super 7 and type in the following share code in the challenge card section so once it pops up here click search and in the share code box type 5 triple 8 or 2 5 double 9 so if I type it in here you'll be able to see so 5 triple 8 or 2 5 double 9 so that is the share code there so if you type that into your box it will pop up and I would recommend maybe smashing through them slowly so not just going full pelt and smashing through them go through them slowly to make sure they count and if you don't get it after the first go just type that share code again and redo it until you get 15 there are 15 plus in this event however falls I can sometimes be a bit sus with the counting mechanisms so if it counts incorrectly and it doesn't complete it after the first run do it again and hopefully you'll have it after the second if that's uh, how it is for you and also just to finish with we have the monthly rivals uh, on the lookout circuit in the ktm crossbow gt4 we got in the summer season so for this one if you haven't done it yet all you need to do is click on this here it'll take you to the correct circuit in the correct car and you just need to post the clean lap so that means if you've got an exclamation mark next to your time that is flagged you want it to have no exclamation mark um, so basically you've got to avoid crashing avoid missing checkpoints and avoid rewinding all of those uh, will hopefully stop you from getting a dirty lap uh, and all you need to do is just drive around even if it means going dead slow you don't have to beat whichever rival it gives you and then once you've done that just quit and it will have it completed and it will complete it for all four of the seasons so in spring you will have four points ready for you already like I have here because I completed it in summer and if you complete it this week any points from summer and autumn the four points will be added on as well because it is a monthly thing okay then so thank you so much for watching today's video guys I really do appreciate the support and we've gained around 20 subscribers in the past week or so which is absolutely insane I think that's the most subscribers I've gained in a short amount of time ever on the channel and we've had like 500 views from all the videos that I've posted throughout the week and the stream so it's absolutely amazing guys please do keep it up I am working on the 250 sub competition however with these subs being gained so quickly um, I just haven't had time yet so I will get the track sorted over the weekend and hopefully by the start of next week I'll have a, I'll have a video ready for you with the information for the competition 
if you want to enter yourself for the competition for some fun racing possibly to win a prize um, then let me know in the under the pin comment um, so if I forget to put the pin comment on can somebody just remind me please in the comments and then you can reply to that letting me know you want to be entered and if you've got any uh, suggestions for what prizes you might want that are within reason then also let me know as well so thank you so much for watching guys please do subscribe to help us get to 300 subscribers if you feel free um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video which will hopefully be information for the competition. Bye!